Hey everyone, Wes here. In the previous video, we have tried, we have covered uh, how to make an object move back and forward, left and right. But in this video, we will try to cover how to make an object move up and down. So basically, we are going to create a jump animation for our player object here. So first of all, we are going to decide if the player object is on the ground object. And we are going to do it with comparing tags in our script. So in order to do that, you're going to have to give a ground tag. Not necessarily it has to be ground, but well, it will just make the uh, confusion go away. So you, in order to do that, you have to give a tag to the ground object. So go tags, add tag and create a ground tag by clicking this little plus icon here, create a new tag called ground and then select the ground object and make it tag ground. After we are done with this, now we have the ground object tagged as ground. And you can leave the player however you want, but if you're going to make a bigger project, you can also uh, make another tag for your object. So tags are basically like categories. And now we are going to write our script to give, the, our, give our player object the jump animation. In order to do that, you're going to create a new script called jump. You can write that uh, code into the movement script as well, but uh, in this video, I will just explain to you how to make the object jump, so I'm going to keep them separate. But before we go into the C sharp, uh, go into the Visual Studio and ed start editing our script, you have to give the player a rigid body component. You can click on add component, search for rigid body, and when you click on it, it will automatically add the component to the player object. You can mess around with all those values as you like, but remember to use gravity. And on constraints, you, need, you are going to want to freeze rotation on X and Z axis in case it collides with any other object and just trumbles around. So we have to remove that. We don't want that. Okay. After you have created your rigid body and give a tag to your ground object, we are ready to write our script. So launch your script in Visual Studio by clicking on it. And we will see our famous screen again. So now we have to decide, we have to give a boolean on ground, which means if uh, it's it can only take a true or false value. So we are good. this is going to help us uh, to decide if the object is on ground or not. So I'm going to go with public boolean, which is bool on ground. Sorry, it's not going to be in the start section. My bad. I'm sorry. It's going to be in here. Okay. And we are going to make a private rigid body RB string to get the uh, rigid body from the game. It's going to uh, give it to the RB in, uh, variable. So the reason it's private, it's going to work uh, in the background. The user are not going to be uh, able to see it. So go back to the start section and set on ground as true, which means our object is on ground at the start. And get RB and get component rigid body rigid body from the unity and we are done with the start part. Now we are going to update. So if on ground, if our object is on ground, and if input get button down jump, by the jump is uh, already defined in Unity, so you might want to look into it if you are wondering what it is. So jump is defined and assigned to space key. So we are going to make another part here. So what have we done so far? If on ground, if our object is on ground and if the jump key is pressed, 
rigid body velocity is equal to new vector 3 and now again if you remember from our previous video we are going to define x y and z axis speeds so 0f on the x-axis because we just want it to go up and down right now and we can go like 5f for y-axis it's gonna be its speed's gonna be 5 and z-axis again 0f and when it happens on ground is equal to false so that's how you do it but this is only going to make you jump once when you when your player object collides with the ground it's you're not going to be able to jump again so in order to avoid that we are going to create a void called on collision enter okay let me fix that collision any any game object game object compare tag this is where the tag coming in ground that's what we call it you if you have called something else you need to type here your ground uh, objects tag but we have called it ground and also uh, sorry I think I have forgot that here my bad and let's get this here so don't forget the semi column let's make it look pretty and one more close down and uh, we have to write on ground is true so if I have to explain this we have defined a true or false true or, for, true or false variable as on ground, and we get the rid, we have defined uh, uh, another variable for rigid body as RB, and we have uh, we have get the rigid body component from Unity and give it to RB variable, and also we have set the on ground as true at the start, and in the update section we said if on ground and if the jump button is pressed rigid body velocity will be 5f on the y-axis and on ground will be no longer true it will be false and when the object drops down on the ground on collision we are going to compare the tag with the ground but it looks like there's a mistake here there's an error so that should be in here okay <clears throat> so let's go back to our let's go back to unity and add the jump script to the player and let's try it so as you can see right now on ground is ticked and I'm moving with it and when I press the space key it goes up and on ground becomes false so it works you can make the uh, make it jump higher by changing the uh, y-axis speed to let's try 10f but yeah we, first we need to stop it never make any changes in your uh, project when you're uh, in the play mode so let's make it ton of save it go back to unity start it let's see yeah well it jumps higher and as long as you keep pressing the button it's gonna just gonna go keep going up until the gravity starts applying so yeah that will be it thanks for watching and as always have a nice day